And that's kind of how I introduce flexible seating. And they're only for our bottoms, okay, not our feet, are... not our faces. Listen and learn. So cute. Brainstorm, brainstorm. I'm telling you guys, we can barely line up. That's a germ. Hi, sweet friend. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. Welcome back. Today is day two of school. I'm going to put day two through day four, five in a separate vlog so that my first day vlog is separate. So that has already gone up. I'm really excited for this week. I've got a kind of like to-do list planned out. Um, I mentioned in my last video, normally it's a lot more structured, but because I'm at a new school and things are so a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of going with the flow a little bit more and I feel like going into my fourth year of teaching that's a lot easier to do. So that is all good. So I'm going to check my planner for today. I need to do um, our class tour, talk about the areas of our classroom, and then there's a couple of other things that I want to do. I want to do my soap versus germs lesson today, but I just realized I don't know where my UV light is. <laughs> so I need to find that um, and I need to print our about me page for each student that I fill out at the beginning and the ending of the year and I put it in their little memory book and I put their photo I forgot to print their photos yesterday oh well and then I have a book we're gonna do but I can prep that during my prep time oh and we have specials today for the first day so I need to figure out all of that so right now I'm just going through my drive and looking for things that I want to print for today Normally, friends, when we come in, we're gonna bring our backpacks in, but if you look back on that green wall, do you see backpack hooks? Yes. <laughs> no, not yet, but guess what? Miss, yep, Mr. H is gonna find us some backpack hooks. So for now, we're just gonna go straight into our morning message. You're sitting on your? Yeah. On your learning leaf. Beautiful job. Every morning, Miss Call writes us a morning message. Good morning. morning. Beautiful Happy first grade. Happy Tuesday. In my class, it is so, so, so important that you get a choice every day in what you do. So at the end of every day, we're gonna end it with our choice rap. I wrote a choice rap for you guys. It's kind of like a song. Up to me, it's not up to you. When we leave, we have a choice to make. What we believe becomes what we say. What we say becomes what we do. It's up to me, it's not up to you. I'm in charge of me, I'm a go-getter. Call me weak, I know better. I make strong choices every day. And when I leave, just watch me. Hey, I make strong choices. Hey, I make strong choices. Okay. <laughs> Just a dismissal. It was very windy today. Vegas is in monsoon season, so it was like slightly sprinkling. Last time I sat down and talked to you, did I talk to you at lunch? I don't know. If I have some clips to play, I'll play them for you. Um, one of the things that we did today was our quote unquote class tour. And the way that I like to do it, because they've already walked around the room and other things, there's things that they've seen. Something we didn't do yesterday that's very important. I want you to look around and I want you to raise your hand and I want you to tell me something that you see. A big leaf. Yeah, our rug is very important. That's where we're gonna be doing all of our learning good observation those those green things huh who knows what those green things are on the floor they are like little green seeds and I'm gonna pick one up and show you this for our bottoms okay so if you don't want to sit on it you could just push it under the table and that's okay binders oh my goodness I'm so glad you noticed those Miss Call is actually gonna get those binders ready for you guys. Every single one of you is going to get a binder. I'm glad you noticed those, great job. But I asked them to point out things that they see. So point out the library, yes, that's our library. And we have not, we have not even covered the library yet. I have them look around the room and find things and we talk about it. And that's kind of how I introduce flexible seating. I think I have some clips I can share with you from just talking about it. Different, good, we have different types of seating. Do you see name tags? No. no, there's no name text. So I wonder how we can choose where to sit. sit. Track me with your eyes, which means your bottom stay on your feet. 
seats. Okay. All right. This first table has what kind of seats? Just regular. Just regular seats. So if you like just regular seats, where can you sit? You can sit right here. Now, when we're done with our seats, should I leave them like this? No. What am I supposed to do? I need to push in our chairs so we can stay safe. Oh, you got it. What do you think this table is? Do you see any seats? No. No, I don't see any seats. So what do you think this table is a for? A standing table. Oh my goodness, a standing table. Sometimes when I'm working, I like to kind of move my body or move side to side or kind of lean over like this. If you ever want to stand, where can you come? Standing table. Yeah, we have a whole table just for standing. So if you never want to have your bottom in a seat, you can be at the standing table. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, and there's even more. This table has two different kinds. We have regular. We have some regular chairs. They're a little bit bigger, and we have stools. Stools. Oh my goodness! Wait. So at this table, you have two choices. We have chairs and. Stools. Did you guys have stools in your kindergarten classroom? No. No, you didn't? Well, let me show you how I sit in the stool. Is that how you do it? No. No, who thinks they know how to sit in the stool? Me. Let me see. I'm looking for someone who can come show me. Two tables. That are tiny. They're tiny and they're separate. I wonder why we would have two tables that are smaller and they're separate. Separated. Exactly. You can sit on the floor with these tables. Let's say you don't really want to sit next to anybody or maybe you just want to sit with one person for a little while. Maybe you don't want to be distracted by somebody else. You can absolutely sit at one of these tables. This is the one that has our, we're going to call them wobble seats. Say wobble. 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 Can you wobble your body? Yeah. These are wobble seats. Wobble. has a nice kind of bumpy texture. Our bottom goes on the seats and we can sit crisscross on it and you'll notice everybody will get to try it. Okay. You can wiggle just a little bit. And they're only for our bottoms, like not our, our feet, our not our faces, yeah. not our heads. They're only for our bottom. It's a wobble seat. So we sit on it like this. Everybody is going to get the chance to practice sitting in a spot. So when I call your name, you're gonna come try a seat out just to see what it feels like. And then we're gonna go through and try all of them. So I just go through really, really quickly and I talk to them about what each table has um, and some of the options. And then I have kids try them all out. You're gonna have kids who first time they maybe use a wobble cushion, they're just gonna like rock around on it. Now you guys tell me, are they showing us the right way to use the seats? Yeah. Oh, do this. No, should we be rolling off of the seats? No, our, the seats are there to help us learn. So if you want to sit on one of those seats, you need to be by the table. Can you show me by the table, please? Beautiful. We just practiced standing up and pushing them in. You got it. You got it. Beautiful job. Walking feet. Four. Find a seat. In three. Walking feet. We're going to find another seat. You have first two. Stand up. Will my standing table back to the carpet but easily just correct them reinforce and they actually did a great job so we practiced sitting in all of our flexible seating without doing any work that's the important thing you should introduce each um, component just like with one variant at a time so we first practice just walking to the seat we first practice just sitting down then we literally just practiced standing up pushing in the chairs pushing in the wobble seats and then they found a new one that's all we practiced um, and then they came back to the carpet so that's kind of like my intro to flexible seating and as we go we kind of have those discussions the right way the wrong way to use it but it really is pretty simple and up front and let me tell you I have some some friends who will need a lot of reminders and I have some friends who I think are going to want to work more close to me and that's that's okay too. I have others who I might need to move them and that's okay too. It doesn't have to be perfect. The idea is just to give them more choice, which we did learn our choice wrap at the end of the day today. Um, I'll talk to you about that in just a sec. Oh, we read the book All Are Welcome here and we had some vocabulary words to talk about and I put those in this little pocket chart. Um, this is new for me. I don't usually use a pocket chart for, vo for vocabulary words, but I thought it might be nice. So we'll see if it works out. So we talked about all of these. I think I have a clip that I can show you from that. Big, My big tiger. Yay, tiger. All right, I need all of your eyes on me. If someone's talking, can you just turn quietly and give them just the quiet symbol very nicely? That way, in case they didn't hear Miss Call, they can see you. 
That way they know they can't turn and talk to you because you're doing the right thing. All right, who can point to the title? Raise your hand nice and high if you can. Okay, what color is the title? Yeah. All are welcome. Tan people, brown people, tan and white people. Mm -hmm. My turn. Yeah. Beautiful. We are going to, oh, it doesn't have sound effects this one. I'm glad you asked, though. We're going to learn the second part of our My Turn chant. So you already know, my turn. turn. The second part goes, when it's my turn, your voice is, and you say, off. When it's my turn, your voice is, off. Ooh, let's try it from the top. My turn. turn. When it's my turn, your voice is, off. Dreams to chase, all are welcome here from far. Oh, I'm so sorry. Where are your eyes right now? If someone's looking at you, you could point or you could do the quiet symbol. Go around, all are welcome here. All are welcome here. Yeah, there's all kinds of flags that probably tells us where they're from. What else are you noticing? Diversity. Let's clap the syllables in that word. Diversity. How many syllables? Four. Four syllables. Can I show you what that word looks like? Yeah. It's what makes us Different. Show me different. Yeah. Do you guys hear something that the author is saying on every single page? All are welcome. All are welcome here. Say it with me. All are welcome here. I wonder if they'll keep saying that on every page. What do you think? Yeah. Maybe. I'm hearing her ask you to stop, and I can see that you're you're still doing it. If one of our friends asks us to stop doing something, it probably means it's bothering them or it's distracting them. This book actually opens up. Look at all these boys and girls. South America. Basketball. South America, yes. Vocabulary. A bug. A bug. You stand your leaf? I'll get it. I'm going to put them outside. Hold on, Breeze. See how long it takes me. Will you count for me? Yeah. One, two, seven. 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 Yellow. Ooh, favorite food. What is your favorite food? Donuts. Donuts. Who else likes donuts? At the top, what do you think goes here? Name. Yeah, your name. So I'm going to write Mrs. Call. Good. We're going to be discovering something that is the same about our partner and something that is different about our partner. We're going to use our tables and we are going to practice how we sit. If someone is sitting where you want to sit, is that okay? Yes. Just find a different spot. spot. I'm looking for leaders. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to show you your partners one more time. The All Are Welcome book activity kit is from Primary Scouts. I'll try to link it for you in the description box, but if I forget, just leave a comment. Say, Maylene, I need the resource for All Are Welcome here, or All Are Welcome, and I'll give it to you. She also had these little picture cards that look like this with different topics to kind of talk about how you are similar or different than your friends, and I let each student pick one of them to tell me, and I put it on a sticky note and they could stick it on the board. We did this, so making discoveries. I used Class Dojo to partner them up. You can choose on Class Dojo if you want two partners or three or four, however many you want in the group. So I just did two. Partnered up and then they went to the tables and they did it with their partner. So I was just very explicit about like, what do you go, what do you do here? What do you do here? What do you do here? And they did an amazing job. And then afterwards, they kind of presented it with their partner. And I was really surprised because usually I have a lot of kids who when the first time they get up, I ask them if they want to share. The first time they come up they usually don't want to but a lot of my kids were like they felt good enough to do it so loved that here's the big thing because I have so many it's really just boys I have like five boys in my class who I, they just need the constant constant reminders and this class I think I need to keep as structured as possible I can just already tell and I think across the board a lot of our maturity levels are a little bit lower than we would usually expect for first grade so we just kind of have to work around that and support them the best way that we know how so for me that's structure our bathroom breaks were a hot mess so we spent probably 30 minutes I'm not even kidding you 30 minutes going to the bathroom and I realized okay we can make this a little bit more structured so we're doing group bathroom breaks for the most part which I hate doing but I have so many kids who I just I absolutely cannot trust them to walk in the hallways. Like it is, I, it, I 
it's just not gonna work out. So we're doing as many bathroom breaks as I can possibly do as a class, even though I hate it and it takes so much time. And I am usually really flexible with bathroom breaks. I have my bathroom lights and if a student needs to go, they'll just turn on the light and they'll go to the bathroom. Um, but I am trying to work in those group bathroom breaks just for the kids who cannot go to the bathroom by themselves. Like that's just what I have to do. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't close it off. So like we're all go to the bathroom in groups, but I know which students will make it by themselves. Anyways, there's a boy's side and a girl's side and then the sinks are in the middle and then we have water fountains over here. So boys, girls, sinks in the middle, water fountain. I have the boys line up by the boy's side and the girls line up kind of by the girl's side and I let four in at a time because there's four bathrooms. The students who are still in line are supposed to watch and if a girl comes out, a girl goes in. If a boy comes out, a boy goes in. So they just kind of flow in and out and they're watching the door to make sure and then after they go to the bathroom, wash their hands, they sit on the wall. I don't know if this makes sense. I don't know if it matters, but they sit on the wall. They can get water if they need it and then we'll walk back to our classroom and if they can do all that, they can earn a star. And I had no idea what I wanted to use that jar for, but I decided it is going to be for bathrooms. Our star jar it has to be for bathrooms because we are struggling. Camera card is full. But just having that super, super structured time, well, I'm not kidding, we literally did it three times in a row. Three times. We walked down there, tried to use the bathroom, <clears throat> tried to sit on the wall, walked back, and I made them walk right back and do it three more times. Actually, I think we did it four times. So it was a lot, but by the last time they were better. And then I think it was after, maybe after lunch, they did it. And I was like, thank goodness. Sometimes it just takes time with those procedures and you've really got to be on it. And I learned today that like one of my boys, when he is hungry, he will be an angel because we were trying to line up to go to lunch. And I, I started lining us up early because I anticipated we would have some troubles with our line. So I started lining us up early. And one of my boys, who <laughs> is like a little bit everywhere all the time, he was being so good because he wanted to go to lunch so badly. And I'm like, okay, food is your motivator. Gotcha. I feel like little by little, it will get better. The hard thing for me right now is, and lots of you guys probably feel this way at the beginning of the year. The hard thing right now is just that we don't have a ton of like solid structure because things are changing every day this first week and next week is going to be so much better so I'm really really excited for next week um, but today wasn't a bad day and I got to learn a ton more about my kids we started filling out these all about me papers they're gonna go in their memory book I'm gonna try to keep the rest of the rest of the week more short and just focus on like the main first week things I'm doing instead of you know getting a ton of content for you guys because this vlog cannot be four hours long happy Wednesday our first Wednesday of school also I wish my hair stayed this poofy all day but it doesn't so I had do unto otters and we were gonna do a craft and a writing and then I had soap versus germs I don't know where my UV light is though so I'm gonna think through some things make sure I'm good to go get my PowerPoint up and ready <laughs> I updated my honor activity last time I did it I just I literally just threw it drew it in like pen and threw it up on TPT because somebody had said they wanted it um, so I updated it here's what it looks like super cute now that I um, have procreate makes things a lot easier and yeah that's gonna be the first thing we do whenever we get back it's my turn, your turn. when it's my turn your voice is Oh. All right, we're gonna learn the next part of our chant. It's actually a lot longer. Show me you're ready, please. Say, look, do it with me. Look, good. Listen, listen, and learn. And learn. Good, try it with me. Look, listen, and learn. It's like right here looks a lot like our front cover, but this is not the front cover. Who remembers what this page is called? Straight up, thank you for being a leader. Um, the cover the outside yes and then there's a cover in the inside too yes and do you remember what this page is called mm, the inside cover? Ooh, very close the title page hello mr rabbit we're your new neighbors the otters <laughs> Our neighbor a nice smile <laughs> Nervous. He was feeling nervous about getting new neighbors. Who were his new neighbors? The otters. the otters. So Mr. Rabbit said he would like his otters to treat him a certain way. I want you to turn 
to somebody next to you, just turn your bodies, and I want you to tell them one thing that Mr. Rabbit said his neighbors should do or something that his neighbors should be. Ready? Go. Apologize. Be kind. Yes, be nice. Beautiful. My turn. Oh my goodness, I noticed almost every single person turn their bodies back to me. When I say my turn, you turn them right back. Oh, good question. If you don't have a partner, what can you do? Join. You can join another group. Exactly. Let's try again. I want you to turn and tell a friend your favorite part of the book we just read. Turn your body. Turn your body. Good. I loved that part too. We're going to talk about today what we think our good classmates should do. This classroom belongs to who? All of us. All of us. So we need to take care of our room and we need to take care of each other. So we're going to talk about some ways that we can do that. I want you to think in your brain, what is something that you think classmates, good classmates, should do? Think in your brain. Brainstorm together. Say brainstorm. 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 Raise your hand if you would like to help me out. Classmates should... Classmates should be nice. I agree. Work as a team. I think so too. It would be really hard if we didn't work as a team. Uh, a Not a penguin. Uh, an otter. It's an otter. What's missing? The head. The otter. And the, and the tail. And the tail. Oh, I'm going to look up there and I'm going to find one that I think I really, really like. I think I like... Work as a team, that one was good. Do you guys hear that sound? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't it distracting? Yeah. It is distracting. And if we have to waste time stopping because people are being distracting, are we gonna have time for all the super fun things? No. No, 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 beautiful job. Okay, classmates should, I'm gonna say that you work with a partner. I'm gonna show you your partners up on Dojo. I watched Thing 2, I watched Thing 2, 3, then... The more points that you get for your class dojo, the more your seed will grow. The first way you can earn a point is for having an awesome attitude. Say awesome attitude. Thumbs up if your kindergarten teacher maybe had a blue book like this. Yeah? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, if not, it's going to be our first time, okay? We're going to have a timer up here, and we have to see how far we can get. Oh, my goodness, and it's so much fun. First part, I'm going to say two words, and you're going to say two words. If the words rhyme, you're going to give me a thumbs up. Let's practice. Ready? Go, no. Go, no. Do they rhyme? So you give me a thumbs up. Good, I like those loud, strong voices. Ready? Dinner. Dinner. Yes, good. Watch me. D. D. Beautiful. Ready? Gentle. Gentle. Good. It's that j sound. Beautiful. I'm going to say two words. You're going to say the two words and then put them together. It sounds like this. Ready? Play ground. Your turn. Play ground. Playground. Kick. Stand. If I say sidewalk, you say sidewalk. 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 Oh no, you're breaking it apart. Let's practice. Ready? Classroom. 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 Beautiful. Ready? Afternoon. 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 Butterfly. Butter. Sailboat. 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 Okay, so today was a pretty great day. Um, the main thing we did was talk about how we should treat our classmates. And I did that with the book, Do Unto Otters. And normally I like to do my Be a Leader, Not a Boss lesson on that same day, but I forgot about that and I did not have the pieces ready. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm actually gonna go sit in the massage chairs and work on that. They absolutely loved the book, Do Unto Otters. And they absolutely loved our little otters are so cute 
Again, I updated them from last year, so they look they look a little better. Great way to talk about what our classmates should and shouldn't do. Normally I make an anchor chart. Today I didn't do that. Today I just used the interactive pen and just wrote it on our board super large because I'm really trying to not put extra effort into making anchor charts that I don't absolutely need. That's my goal for this year, not to waste time doing things like that. So <clears throat> I didn't. And then I pulled more students to my back table for one-on-one -on -one to do their about me page. And then I had the rest of them also color this little banner. I also took the kids' photos for my director and my helper in those picture frames back there. Let me find a student who I can show you so I can show you what they look like. I did send out a social media permission form, so I have um, permission this sweet friend. So I took their picture on portrait mode. I don't know if you can see, but I took it on portrait mode in our library and they'll each have a photo like this that has their face. And I really wanted them to have their house shirt on too. So that when I look up and see, I can easily see super, super quickly. So I'm going to print two of all of their photos, one for my director, one for my helper. And each day I'll just move the photo. So it stays um, and everybody can get a turn doing both of them. What else do we do today? That was the main thing. We also did Hegarty. So every day after after lunch, we're going to do Hegarty, which is my phonemic awareness curriculum that I bought and it's somewhere over there and I filmed our very first lesson for you just to show you what that looks like and kind of what it sounds like then at the very end of the day right before we were about to break out into our houses I realized my bookshelf that's normally there it's over here because my floor is soaking wet because it was leaking I don't know if you can see that like big puddle that's gonna get fixed apparently that's a thing but it's fine our house meeting was really just for us to learn our chants and it was so much on the house of tenacity and we wrote our cute little chant we practiced it with them and they got so into it <laughs> that was my day i'm gonna go prep my be a leader not a boss in the massage chair i'm basically just finding an excuse to use the massage chairs every day Good morning, it's Thursday. I am in my prep period. I just went ahead and printed a bunch of student rosters because that's something that I just kept meaning to do and I was like, it'll take two seconds, but I just didn't have time. Um, it's always <laughs> wonderful. I learned this when I was student teaching, but you need to just print like a hundred rosters, not a hundred, I'm printing like 10, but print a bunch of rosters with your student's name in it. So I'll show you kind of what it looks like. But I print two to a page, just cut it in half, and then I just clip them together. And then whenever I need a roster, I can just take it. Um, so if you're collecting anything, like I have forms that I'm supposed to be collecting, I have all sorts of things. Or if you're like, who has this or who's completed this? Just super fast rosters you can use for anything. And I just now got them printed. Gotta get coffee. First I coffee, then I teach. <laughs> My turn. Yeah, Good, and when I say that, all I should be where? Yeah. Oh, I mean, let's try again. Yeah, my turn. turn. My turn. When it's my turn, your voice is? Oh. I need you to? Listen. Look, listen, listen and? Learn. If you're learning, you are. Here's the next one. If you're learning, you are. And then we raise our hands. Participating. Okay, we have a very fun book today. Yay. It's about somebody going to school for the first time. But but she doesn't know how to go to school for the first time. Are you ready to add to our book tracker, my friends? Yeah. Here we go. Read number five. Book number five. All right, so good book etiquette. Say etiquette. etiquette. Good book etiquette. Your hands are down. Good book etiquette. If you've read a book before, should you spoil it? No. No, because that means we can't have fun all together reading it. Some of my friends have not read this book. Read Penelope Rex was nervous. Oh my goodness. I keep hearing that word. It's not every day. A little T-Rex starts school. What is she doing in her room? Making them nervous. Yeah, just like she's practicing for school, like she's pretending, huh? Because ponies are delicious. Oh. Yeah. His dad packed her a lunch of 300 tuna sandwiches. What? Let's, let's double check. Let's count to 300. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm just kidding. We're not going to count to 300. No. We don't eat our classmates. Please spit them out at once. None of the children wanted to play with me. 
I'm not sure if there's anything Penelope can do. What can she do? All of the kids are afraid of her, but she feels all alone. You feel sad. She's trying to have a good day. I want you to turn and tell your friend, what can Penelope do? Try not to eat them. I heard say sorry. Let's see what she does. Because dinosaurs are delicious. Um, no. Yesterday we talked about what good classmates should be. They should be nice. Nice. They should be kind. kind, helpful. My thumb. Ready? Help. Good. It just pushes it up a little bit. Ready? Today we're going to talk about what we have instead of rules. Okay. Because if you have a rule, is it possible to break the rule? No. Could you break a rule? Yeah. You could break a rule. So that's why we don't have rules. It's because I don't want any rules to be broken. So instead, for rule, we have something like a class motto. It's something we say and something we all believe and we work really hard to make it true. Okay? Are you ready to know what it is? Yeah. Yes. I'll give you a hint. It's actually outside of my classroom door. It's right up top, outside. Did any of you see a quote or a hashtag outside my door in the hallway? Yeah. Do you know what it says? Be a Leader. Not a boss. Good. There's a difference between being a leader and a boss. They are different. They're different. We want you to be leaders. Good. Be a not a boss. And you tell me if that's something a leader would do or something a boss would do. I'll tell that's something that a leader does or a boss. A boss. A boss. Help your friends. What do you think? No, leader. 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 Help friends. Help friends. Yeah, leaders help their friends. If somebody's doing something they are not supposed to be doing, do you have to come tell me right away? No. No, you could help them. You could show them. You could say, hi, we're supposed to be working. Or excuse me, Miss Call is talking. You can help them and show them. If they're not sure what to do, you can ask them. Do you need help? Use kind words. Leader. 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 Boss. Bosses know everything. Hmm. So yes, leaders fix problems. Here's why this is important. Remember, Miss Call said, we don't have rules because rules can be yeah. broken. Yeah. And so we have a class motto that we have to work really hard to make true, right? Yeah. So all of my friends in here, it's your job to try really hard to be a leader. leader. Good. It's your job to try really hard to be a leader, leader not a boss every week I will be looking all week long at friends who are making strong choices at friends who are being leaders and every week on Friday Miss Call is going to pick a person who did a really good job of being a leader you will be our leader of the week and your picture will go in the middle of this little plant circle thing this little wreath your picture will go up there and you will be the leader of the week good make sure you're on your leaf for me let me just scan the room scanning 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 oh my scan is incomplete someone is not on their leaf beep 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 beep, 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 beep. i broke it fix me beep 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 beep, 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 beep. someone is not on their leaf scanning in progress scanning complete thank you I'm gonna give you another tool. Good, listen to your ears on. I'm gonna give you another tool that you can use. If someone is bugging you, if they're bugging you or bothering you, you can debug. Say debug. Debug. What is debug? What is debug? I will tell you. If someone is bugging you, don't lick your knee. If someone is bugging you, you can debug. Debug just means move away from them a little bit. So, if a and cup are sitting next to each other, and is bothering him, and she's tried to ignore him, and he will not. He will not listen. Okay, you can debug. So we'll stand up and scoot a little bit away, and then sit down. Yep, that is debugging. She moved away. Moved away from him. You know what that tells me? I mean, she's making a strong choice. Good. And I'm looking for leaders to make strong choices. Right. Today was interesting. It wasn't a huge train wreck. Um, yesterday was a little bit better though. So we read, we don't eat our classmates. And then we talked about the difference between being a leader and a boss. 
Um, I don't, really don't have a great book for <laughs> leader versus boss, so I just read another just classic classroom, how we treat each other book. Um, but they really liked learning about being a leader versus being a boss, and they did a great job with kind of elaborating on those expectations. So that went well. We also made a card for a little girl who, she's been sick, so she hasn't been able to come to school yet, and she's been missing out on like back to school things, and her mom, I'm connected with her mom on Dojo, and I did get to meet her at open, or not open house, at meet the teacher. Um, but her mom let me know like she's just really missing school, and like she really wants to be here with her classmates, so we did have extra time today, and plus I love seeing like how they work. We made her a card, like we made her a big packet and everybody made her a little card. I signed it, we brainstormed some things that we could say and then I left it in the office and mom came and picked it up and by the end of the day we got a picture of her with her cards and the whole class loved that. So that was nice. Um, plus it's great, especially when you're learning about community to show them like there's lots of different ways to be there for your classmates and then we did this the germs versus soap activity. Germs versus soap. A safe zone for germs is here in between your fingers. They think, they think if kids just wash their hands, they just do this. That's why they hide on the back too. Good, back of your hands. Good, between your fingers. Good, back of fingers. Okay, make sure you get your thumbs. Hands are clean. We have to make sure. And I'm going to give us a way to make sure our hands are clean. I have something called glow germs. Say glow. Glow germs. germs. Glow germs. Glow germs are not real germs. Say it with me. Glow germs are not real germs. Are they real? No. They are fake. It's for practice. Say practice. They're all real. Germs are real, but Miss Call's gonna give us glow germs, and glow, glow germs are fake. Glow germs. It's just like a little lotion. Okay. It doesn't look like anything. It just looks like normal lotion, right? Normal lotion, but we can't see germs with our eyes. I'm gonna rub it in. I don't see any germs, do you? No. I don't see any germs, but I have a magical germ light. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, do you see that dot? Yeah, I see lots. That's a germ. What do I need to do? Wash your hands. Wash, hands. wash my hands. How long do I wash my hands for? 20 seconds. 20 seconds with water? No. So, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, You see it on the tip right there? Oh, I need one at the bottom too. There's one. I need to make sure I get all my safe zones too. Look, I see one in there. There. You got one down there? I see one right there. Which I normally love. I did not love it today. I have too many, too many kids who are just all over the place all the time and it was really just stressful. I'm telling you guys, we can barely line up. It's really frustrating too because for the most part, the rest of the class will be doing an okay job, but then once like the five that I have start, you know, squirreling around, then the whole class kind of loses it. So I'm just kind of at a loss. Um, still working really hard, but I am, I am kind of at a loss because we are redoing things like six and seven times, but I've got to get the rest of my class on board with setting an example. So we've been doing a lot of practicing ignoring we've been doing a lot of practicing just moving away a little bit um and just really trying to set that example because if any of my other students who just need a little bit more help if any of them even get the slightest hint that things are not completely structured like if any of my other kids start playing or goofing off then it's all downhill and i really struggled with that today so we're working on it um, it's good that you guys can see like beginning of the year versus middle when hopefully we have it together. But that's been, it's just been a huge stressor because I have so many fun things and I'm like, I don't want to reel it back, but I think I have to because if they can't handle it, then it's just, it's not setting them up for success. So, but that part's just really hard and that's just how it is some years. That's okay. So right now I'm just trying to see um, what I need to get prepped. Good morning. Today is the first Friday of the school year. Feeling pretty good. Have a lot to do. Um, so that's at the top of my mind. Today we're going to focus on our calm corner. 
Um, oh, I need to print little hats that we're making. We also have a house meeting today. So we're gonna be busy. I also wanna try to do our first directed drawing. I need to find some like white cardstock. So we can do that and kind of figure out just the order of things. And we need to do a class picture today. Two so. words. If they rhyme, you're gonna give me a thumbs up. Ready? Hit, fit. Hit, fit, fit. fit. Good, everyone is participating. Good. Blue, ooh, ooh, yellow, elo, elo, ooh, and elo are different. Yeah. Book, took. Book, took. Fish, dish. Fish, dish. And then tell me the first sound you hear. Ready? Visitor. Visitor. Good. Ribbon. Ribbon. Captain. Captain. Two parts and put them together. My turn. Gold. Fish. Gold. Fish. Gold. Fish. Basket. Ball. Basket. Ball. Basket. Hmm. Okay. Ready? Life. Life. Good. Test. Test. Glad. Glad. Do that one again. Glad. Glad. Good. Cook. Cook. Sideways. Snowflake. 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 Keyboard. 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 Add one. Everyone. Just the girls say black. Black. Add top. Black top. Say cornbread. Cornbread. Without bread, it's just corn. Let's say anytime. anytime. Without time, it's just Any. grown up. Grown up. Without up, it's just Blown. say ponytail. ponytail. Without tail, it's just Pony. letter. G Sound. G G Listen, I hear this. G. I want to hear this. G. G. Ready? Letter is H. Sound is. Letter is I. Sound is I. Letter is J. Good, if you're learning, you are partis. Letter is End of the day Friday. It's honestly the humidity and the heat. It's, we're just gonna have to, excuse. Okay, so we did it. Honestly, all things considered, sitting here at the end of the week, I feel pretty okay. I will be here tomorrow because I have to prep for stuff, but all that aside, um, I'm sure I have plenty of clips to share with you. Um, the main things we did today were we read Alma and the Worry Stone. Um, we went over our calm corner. Um, we did practiced the worry plaque. We made worry stones. Here's mine. I realized I forgot to bring my cookie sheet um, for the <laughs> worry stones, so I just put them on index cards. Um, so they made cute little worry stones. I've got to go home and bake them. Um, and then we they colored their cute little hats. Um, they loved the dragon. Would you like to see your dragon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Close your eyes. Open them up. It's a hat. Oh. It's all I conquered my first week. After you have cut it out, where does your trash go? In the trash can, not on the floor. Bia. Leader. Nada. Lost. Here's what we're going to do. You have two colors, right? Yes. You're going to take your two colors and you're gonna squish them together and roll it into a ball. Just squish them a little bit, push them together. Push them, squish them, squish. Squish them and roll it in. We had house things we had to do, you know, specials, lunch, everything just takes up so much time during your day. Um, and then after house activities, we read a letter from your teacher on the first day of school, except I, I said it was the first week of school. And they really liked that read aloud. We did novel effect with it. They're asking every single time for sound effects for our book, so love that. Um, and then I gave them their gift. I am excited to see all that you do. First grade is great, but it's better with you. I know we just met, but as your teacher, I know this year will be great. Keep this heart to hold somewhere special somewhere safe because in my heart i saved you a place welcome to first grade love mrs call and what's missing from this heart a little tiny heart because in my heart i saved you a place 
You were excited to meet me? Yeah, me I was too. excited to meet you guys too. Which was that cute little poem. I have it here and the little wooden heart. And the girls especially thought it was sweet, but some of my boys were like, Miss Call, I love it so much. So that made me feel really good because this is something new that I did this year. And I was gonna do it on the first day, but honestly, I think it's kind of special to send it home on the Friday. So I think I might keep that for next year. Maylene, send it home on the Friday. Actually, I think one of my moms messaged me about it. Hold on. Today was one of my kids' birthday. Someone was saying um, something about, something said, somebody said something about birthday treats. But then they were talking about a student who already had his birthday this week. And I was like, yeah, his birthday was on whatever day. But apparently one of my kids' birthdays was today. Okay. That is like the worst thing to not know that one of your kids' birthdays. <laughs> you guys. It's really, really killing me that one of my kids' birthdays was today. Normally, that's all they can talk about. <laughs> I didn't know I had two birthdays this week. I feel like such a failure. Oh my goodness. At least all my kids made it home. I didn't didn't lose a kid right at least oh, i feel so bad that was our day that was our week go first week maylene for getting a birthday i'll show you a couple things that i got today uh from kaylin kaylin if you're watching this thank you she sent us sounding out the sight words which is great because we're gonna start i think we're probably gonna start sight words next week um and it organizes them by like the skills and kind of teaches you like different rules for sounding out the sight words in case there's one that you don't know. I think this would be a really good reference that I can look at before uh, the week starts. And then she sent some of these. I'm gonna use these as our poetry kits. So it'll have like the hands that they need for poetry. She sent us this book. So we have all of the um, Caterpillar, Impatient Caterpillar book series. So that's exciting. And then she also <laughs> sent us these and I'm gonna use these as their little personal dictionaries. So next week we're gonna read, oh, I have so much to remember. We're gonna read The Word Collector, um, we, oh, we have so much to do. How am I going to fit it all in? I don't know. We're going to read the word collector. They're going to get this little book and they can write words. Um, it's kind of like a personal dictionary that they'll have for things that they want to spell. Um, so I'm really excited about these. I'm just going to let them decorate the front cover however they want. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm trying to show you as much as I can. I am incredibly busy. I'm incredibly tired. I hope it comes across very clear in this video that I have nothing together. We're just kind of surviving, but we're having fun while we're doing it. Um, so anyways, if you enjoyed, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and join our family down below so you don't miss any vlogs this year. You can check out all of my vlogs from last year. Just click in the description or you can click right up here in the i button and you can see all of the fun that hopefully you didn't already miss. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next one.